Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back today. I'm gonna show you how to download all of my maps for either MCPE or Minecraft PC. Now I do use a service called Tubula and it can be a bit confusing for some of you so I decided to make this video. Now here we are on my Planet Minecraft page. This is just one of many projects that I do offer a download for. As you can see it's a super redstone house. You can check that video out. It's a really awesome redstone map with over 1,000 redstone creations. But anyways, this is basically going to show you how to download this map as well as this video will show you how to install the map and show you how to do it on MCPE later on in the video itself. Now that's a totally different process, so definitely stick around for that or I'll put the time on the screen so you guys can uh, skip ahead to that part if you so choose. All right, now before we get into that, I do have to mention yet again, I'm using the service called Tubula and that, that does require you to have a Twitter Twitter account and I know that is a bit of a hassle but I do want to mention that a Twitter account is free to create and it only takes about five minutes to create compared to the hours of time it does take to put these maps together as well as the video themselves so it's really not that difficult compared to actually making the videos so that's just my argument for you know requiring the Twitter now not only that but if you guys do create a Twitter account and you decide to go through this process just once it does give you access to all of the maps I have posted in the past, as well as all of the maps I will post in the future. So definitely keep that in mind. And not only that, if you guys have a Twitter account, my DMs are open on Twitter. As you can see, I get messages all the time from people and they send in their maps. I talk to them and it's really fun to interact with everyone. And as you can see, I reply to messages all the time. Look how many messages I have from just two hours ago, as well as just a couple minutes ago. And yeah, so that's definitely all the better benefits you guys can have by just taking five minutes to create that Twitter account. Anyways, once you have that, we can move on with the process. Now, the first thing we're going to do is the MCPC map. So let's go ahead and do that. Like I mentioned, we have our super redstone house right over here. Now to download this, we simply go to our Minecraft page. All right, so once you click on that link, you should appear on this page right over here. As you can see, it basically tells you the name of the map that you're downloading right at the top. All we have to do is click on get access and then connect to Twitter. Once you connect to Twitter, it should authenticate it. Go, go ahead and authorize that app. It doesn't really do anything. I have it authorized on my account. And then a download button should appear. You simply click on that download button and then the download is activated and you get that map. It is that simple, guys. That is basically how you would do that and to install the map you of course go to your .minecraft folder and just drag and drop that into that area. So I don't really need to show you guys how to install the map for MCPC because it's pretty common and already known. I mainly have to show it for uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this for MCPE. Now this is a bit more complicated so please pay attention. Now this is only going to work on Android devices because for iOS devices, you need to download the map to your PC and then transfer it using a file manager to your iOS devices. In other words, it's a completely different process that requires a first step and then a transferring of those files onto your iPhone or something like that. So you guys could Google that and then apply the first step to it. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at how to download our maps from the website directly onto our Android device. All right, so here we are on our plan Minecraft page, I basically scroll down to where it says our Minecraft World Save Download. Once I click on that, it should take me to this link, which is basically our Tubula link. And as you guys can see, there is no download button and no access button. There's just this little album cover and then a play button at the bottom. And if you guys do see this and you're confused, I understand. Now, what you need to do over here in order to get the download is click on those three little buttons at the top right hand corner of the browser it should bring down a menu and in that menu it should say request desktop site now once that is there click on it and it should refresh the page and then take you to a desktop version of that tubular link all right so here we are on this desktop version of our page if you guys cannot see right over here there is now a get access button and simply click on that it should pop up with a connect to Twitter then you click on that button yet again it will ask you to log into Twitter, authorize your account, and then repeat the steps, and you should go ahead and get that download. Now, once that is downloaded, I'm gonna head on over to my download.
Mode Manager, and then we can install the map to our Minecraft game. All right, so the file manager that I like to use is called B1 Archiver. I'm gonna click on that, to open that up, and scroll down to the download folder. Once I have that, I simply look for my download file, which is just called Redstone. It should be at the bottom right over here. I click and hold on that, and then I extract it, and that will extract it into a folder called Redstone, or you could extract it into another folder if you so choose. All right, so here we are inside the folder. We could simply check on the files and make sure that the file that you're going to be moving into your world save folder is a folder with the DB, the level, the level data, as well as the level name. So it should look something like this. You simply go back, and then we could choose either the redstone creations or the redstone house. Since I wanted the redstone house, I'm gonna simply click and hold on this and then click on move. And once I have that, I want to go up, go up again, and then go all the way back to the top, click home, and then go to games right below our download folder, go into the Mojang folder, go down to our Minecraft worlds, and then click on the thing where it says move here, and boom, there we go. I just moved my file into our Minecraft world save folder. Now let's go ahead and see if we have it in our MCPE game. So here we are in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Let's click on play and choose the redstone house from today. As you guys can see, here is our lovely redstone house. It is that simple to install, guys. I hope this video did help you out. I know it was kind of confusing to download my maps. But anyways, guys, that's basically going to wrap up today's video. If you guys want to see more awesome redstone maps, tutorials, and just awesome Minecraft content, please do subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Anyways, guys... This was Twist, and I'll see you next time.